People are staring at me because I'm filming myself. <laughs> I've recently seen these videos where people just drive around and listen to music and it's like the dream. I love making playlists, I love listening to music and since Valentine's Day is coming up this Sunday I thought I would compile a playlist full of anti-Valentine's Day songs, songs that you can listen to when you're going through a breakup, if you're mad with someone. There's really like a song for every stage of the relationship in this playlist and I'm gonna tell you stories along the way. It's gonna be a great time. Just to get this one out of the way because it's the only one that doesn't really fit into like a nice neat section is if you hate Valentine's Day because you feel like businesses are trying to capitalize on love, you feel like people appreciate heart-shaped balloons more than they appreciate spending quality time with each other off their phones. You feel like the world is kind of doomed. You don't know where we're going. You spiral regularly just about the state of the world. This song is for you. The lyrics are incredible. It's such a like activist society song. Like really, if you want to get mad about injustice, please just listen to it. It's honestly so good. His voice is insane in this song, like the emotion, the belt, oh my god. Okay, now that we have the like, <laughs> that out of the way, let's move on to just like, you're either heartbroken or you're about to be heartbroken. There's a sense of like impending doom and you just need like a slightly sad, but more just nostalgic kind of breakup song. the male and female voices they're like responding to each other I don't know I just think it's so cool standing in a shadow always standing in the hallways. staring at me it's just like got a real nostalgic vibe it's a sad song like the contents of the song are sad but it doesn't feel super sad which I like don't even know my name. Okay, this next song actually won Triple J's Hottest 100, which is a massive thing in Australia. It's one of my favorite songs. Sometimes all I think about is you. Again, this song has sad lyrics, but it actually sounds quite happy. Usually I put something on TV so we never think about you and me. The lyrics are just amazing. It's all about just like a relationship that's ending or that needs to end. But I lie for me. You need something I can never give. The harmonies are so good as well. I'm obsessed with them. Sometimes all I think about is you. This next song is the perfect encapsulation of when you're in a relationship but you don't know whether it's run its course or not. Do you really want this? Be honest, be honest. Len and Stella's album generally is just perfect if you have just gotten out of a relationship because she really knows how to write like a bop for the single lady. What if it's just, just a little too late, just a little too little. Not only just the catchiest song ever, but really relatable, sad lyrics, and I just love it. It's I love songs that are actually sad but that sound happy, in case you can't tell. Tell me I should stay. Tell me that I'm on. Can't go wrong with this next song. It's one of the best songs of all time. It will always be one of my favorites. It's just a real bop. Okay, this next song is my bridge between the heartbreak section and the sad section. This song is so good. It's about just like wanting someone who you used to have and you don't have them anymore. Lying on the bathroom floor. Uh, no idea pull my tears my tongue is for. But it's packaged in such a poppy, fun, upbeat, dancey song. I'm gonna have to pull over for this chorus. It is impossible to listen to that song and not just like wanna dance in your kitchen. Like it's so good, it's so catchy, I'm obsessed. Alright, I'm easing us into the sad songs now, so if you have been through a breakup or just, I don't know, anything, like if you're just sad in your life and you need a big old cry, these next few songs are for you. I don't like to listen to sad music that much, but in high school I definitely did. I loved to just stare out of a window and cry to these songs. So this first song is so sad, but still not like, it's not fully depressing, like we're about to take a journey into fully depressing soon. 
so sad. His voice is incredible. He carries so much emotion in his voice. This song honestly makes me want to crawl up into a ball and cry, but it also makes me want to like embrace my youth. I can't explain it. Oh. This next one is just one of the saddest songs of all time. It really hit me when I first listened to it. It's so, so beautiful. I've been holding back tears while you're throwing back beers. I'm in bed. It's just so well written. It's, you just can feel it, you can see it, and I'm so proud of her. I don't really like much of her music, but that song is so good. So tell me to leave, I'll pack my bags, get on the road. This next song was High School Harriet's emo song. Show me in the land, Phil. <laughs> Don't think about the consequences. I would listen to this song with my headphones on, lying in my bed, thinking about a boy, and I would just cry. This is torturous. I also used to love to visualize, like, like I would pretend that I wrote this song in my head and then I would like visualize me performing it to this said boy and it gave me a lot of serotonin, weirdly. It just brings back all of those emotions. So if you need a big old cry and you're really mad sad with someone, listen to that song. Speaking of mad sad, this next song is, I would say, equal parts angry and sad, which is gonna perfectly bridge us into our angry song section, which I can't wait for. This song is perfect if you've been cheated on or if, I don't know, someone moves on really quickly. I bet you start loving me. Soon as I start loving someone else, somebody better than you. I vividly remember after going through my first breakup, I would listen to this song. I had to get a bus to a different campus at my uni and I would listen to this song on the bus. I love you, but I won't be a fool for you. Call me a fool. That is just something that I wouldn't do, bit. I don't know why I stared out so many windows, but I would stare out the window of the bus listening to this song, just like reflecting on our relationship. And it really is like the perfect song if you're angry, sad. This next song is just an iconic angry song. If you have again been cheated on or if you're just angry with someone, listen to this and just scream it at the top of your lungs in your car. You will feel so much better. I can guarantee it. Look inside your tiny mind and look a bit harder. Right after I had been cheated on, ages ago, my best friend came and picked me up in her car and I vividly remember that she blasted this song. She's such an amazing friend. She blasted this song and we were just like yelling it. We were so mad. You're just some racist who can't tie my laces. And it just felt so good to let go of all of that anger. Fuck you, fuck you, fuck you very, very much. And then I got really sad afterwards, but it was amazing, so thank you, Olympia. You are the best. Short intermission. Please excuse the camera change. My camera actually died, um, and that means that I can no longer drive around, but it's perfect timing because this next song is a Beyonce song, and you just have to dance to a Beyonce song. Sorry. I'm sorry. I'm sorry. This song is perfect if you're feeling like angry. It's just like the most powerful song ever. Honestly, listen to this song, absolutely. But if you are just in that stage, I highly recommend you watch Lemonade. Tell him boy, bye. I actually watched it right after I'd been through a bad breakup and it just hits so different. I think I was crying through the whole thing. Like it's actually just so beautiful. Stop interrupting my grind and I interrupting my she knows how to write a sad song. Better call Becky with the good hair. This next song is amazing if I don't know, let's say you're like seeing someone. You're classic and then they turn out to just be like super annoying or up themselves. Everyone knows someone who kills the buzz every time they open up their mouth. I love Casey's voice. I love the country, but also the pop. Why don't you get up, get up? 
You can get angry to it or you can just have fun to it, like it's one of those songs. This next song I bet you all already have listened to during a breakup, but it's just perfect. Rihanna can do no wrong and it's just the best like sad girl angry bop ever. You need me. It makes me feel every emotion under the sun. Like I don't know why this song gets me and this whole album anti, anti, whatever, however you say it, it's so good. You now we're moving into my favorite part. If you are kind of single and thriving, to be honest, you, you probably don't like Valentine's Day still, you're not in a relationship. You are out on the town, you're feeling independent, you're feeling like, I wanna just live my best life. These are the songs for you. This first song is so good. I love the whole production of this song. I've never heard anything like it. I love the little like gaming sound. I was busy thinking about boys, boys, boys. I love the, I don't even know what you'd call it, the bit that's like That shit is so good. What I will say about this song though is I don't love the energy of like blowing off all of your girlfriends. But it's just a song, so like that's just a me thing. Speaking of boys, there's someone walking towards in my general direction and I just, I can't like bop to the chorus when he's there, but also he has seen the camera on my dashboard and he's gone. But I was busy thinking about boys. I don't even recommend just listening to this song. If you are in the mood for just like three minutes of masculine energy, then go and watch the music video. It's so good. It actually like broke everyone when they first saw it. I'll link it down below. Not that Charlie XCX needs my promo, but I was just trying to make it easy for you guys, but I realized how that how that sounded. Tagging a smaller YouTuber, um, Charlie XCX, down below. So just go and check her out. This next song, I really didn't like it when I first heard it. I'm actually surprised that I even like it because it's a very weird sounding song. I want a boyfriend, but I just keep hitting dead. I just think the bass and the kick or whatever it's called in this song are just so like fat and you just want to blast it in your car. I want a boyfriend. Tell me all the any good ones left. This next one is definitely more of a genre that I really love. I don't even know what you'd describe this music as. I wanna get naked with you. And it's just such a good song. If you're feeling fun, fresh and fruity. Why such a good chill song. I feel like there's been a lot of like crazy songs in here, but this song is just such easy listening. I feel like I'm in heaven, heaven. This next song is honestly like, I still can't tell if it's a joke or not. Yeah, baby, I'm a loner. It's by one of my old, all time favorite artists, All Day. Your eyes magical to me. Still me and one of my best friends we went to one of his shows and then we like hugged him afterwards and it was one of those super weirdly surreal moments and you send me butters, the straight fuck me up when you're sinners. i don't know like you just don't meet someone that you're that obsessed with ever so i don't know i've always had a soft spot for him my name's the more I listen, the less I think it is a joke. This is the second last song, and when I first heard this song, I was actually so disappointed because Charlie XCX and Lizzo, like, what an absolute combo. When I first heard it, I was like, eh, it's kind of average. But then the more I listened to it, the more I was like, wait a second, this is so good. It's like the perfect gym song as well, but it just makes you feel happy and free. I don't know, it's just, it's a really good song. We're gonna end on just like a beautiful, soft, happy note. The lyrics are amazing, his voice is amazing. This new album is so good. I highly recommend listening to it. This song actually like resolves in the end. So the story I think from my understanding is about two people who I think they're friends and they 
feel like they shouldn't be together or sleep together for whatever reason. We both know where this is gonna lead. But then in the end they do and it's so sweet. It's honestly so beautiful. So good. Like I don't know why that song is I just find it so beautiful and I feel like that's the perfect way to end this playlist video because we don't want to end it on a sour note. I hope you guys enjoyed. This was just a little extra video for this week. Whether you do or don't like or celebrate Valentine's Day, I still hope that you have an amazing day and take the time to give yourself some love because you deserve it. You're amazing. Literally all of you who watch my videos are so nice and so kind and I love you. So I will be your Valentine. I We'll see you guys next Sunday. Oh, this Sunday. Oh my God, two videos this week. I'll see you guys on Sunday with a brand new video. Bye.